I'm Dom. I will be taking you through an hour of Matt Pilates today, which is really, really exciting. I'm excited. I hope you are as well. Just a few little things that you're going to need. Basic things hopefully you can find around your house. I have two pillows there that are mostly just there for my head. They're quite thin, so I have two that are, that are nice for some support, as well as potentially for your knees if you're on a hard floor and would like a bit more um, support, as well as I have two hand towels there. You only really need one. We're gonna be using one for our hands and then one for our feet, so just depending how you feel. I'm gonna make my way over to my mat. You're welcome to go grab anything you need. The uh, water is also really great. Turn some music on if you'd like to, um, and we'll, we will crack on. So once you're down, <clears throat> just starting to take a second. You can be kneeling if you would like to. You could totally be standing or lying down, whatever feels good for you. I'm going to close my, close my eyes and let's take a nice deep breath in together through the nose and exhale out through our mouths. Inhaling in through our noses and exhaling through our mouths. Maybe Drawing your chin down to your chest, starting to circle it around to the left, back behind you, down and around to the right, then back forward, maybe take it the other way, down and around to the right, over to the left, bringing it down. Gently rolling yourself all the way back up, giving those shoulders a little roll. Let's inhale our left arms up and then exhale, take that side bend over. Nice and gentle here. Inhale to come out just a little bit and then exhale over. Take an inhale into the side of your left body. And then as you exhale, bring yourself all the way up. Let's take it the other way. Inhale, right arm comes up and then exhale it over. Inhale to release a little bit, exhale it over. One more time, inhale to expand into the right side of your body. Bring it all the way up. Nice job, let's make our way down onto our backs. So, <clears throat> very exciting business being here with you for Pilates. Let's bring our knees into our chest, give yourself a little rock side to side. I do my best to offer different levels for you. So as we're working together, if there's something that isn't fully feeling amazing, um, hopefully one of the options I offer you will help. And if not, you're always welcome to reach out to me and, and just ask if there's anything different that maybe would work better for you. I'm, I'm super happy to, to answer any questions. You can take those legs and just drop them over to the right, taking a little twist for that low back. Right now, letting our breath be very easeful, creating space in our body, but in a moment, switching to our Pilates breath, which is going to require more activity on our exhale. Breathing in through the nose, side out through your mouth. Bringing those legs back up to center again. Give yourself just a little rock and roll. And then careful of any props, plants, people on the other side of you taking that twist again. I really hope that we take this hour together and work hard and, and have fun as well. Not that I will ever ask you to smile, but if you feel like things are starting to get tricky, I promise if you crack a smile or make yourself laugh, suddenly it doesn't feel so bad. Let's bring our body back up to center. Let's plant our feet on the floor and let's keep our head supported on these pillows so anytime your head is up it means your hips are going to stay down so even though we're rolling through our pelvis let's make sure we keep our tailbone um rooted right we don't want to be lifting our bums up can you take your hands for me please and place heels of your hands on your hip bones fingertips on your pubic bone and we want to start by making sure that that's flat that there's nothing funky happening there either extending or imprinting we want it to be level you're going to take your hands to your ribs. Can you inhale into the sides of your ribs through your nose? And exhale through your mouth like you're relaxing. And just notice how your rib cage slides down. Let's do that again. Inhaling through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. 
Now keep going with that breath. As you inhale, can you breathe into the back of your ribs as well so that you can feel the mat or the floor behind you? And as you breathe out, feel the backs of the ribs slide down the floor as well. So we're not, we're trying to be connected. Inhaling through the nose into the backs and sides of the ribs. And without moving your pelvis, as you exhale, your pelvic floor, which sits pubic bone to coccyx, draws up towards your belly button. Inhale to let these spaces expand. Exhale out through your mouth. Ribs draw down, pelvic floor draws up. And we're thinking wide across our hip bones, wide across our belly button. Two more like this. Now I know this feels very simple, but we're starting to turn muscles on. Exhale it out. Through pursed lips. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out. Now we're going to use our low belly, pubic bone to belly button, that fleshy low ab space, to start to move. So without thinking about squeezing your bum, let your bum be relaxed. Inhale here. And as you exhale, can you scoop from your low belly, scooping your low back towards the floor. Inhaling to lengthen away just a little bit, a little ladybug house. And then exhale, scoop through your belly imprint into the floor. Inhale, that little bit of a release. As you exhale, think about hip bones sliding to the outside of the waist. Inhale, a little bit of a release. Exhale, pubic bone hollows. Slide the ribcage towards the belly button. Two more, inhale. So it's like everything is sliding like an avalanche down to our midsection. One more time, inhale to release. As we exhale, they draw down. Now hold this scoop. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out. Can you hollow? Draw the ribs down and think wide. So the whole time we work together, can we be careful there's no doming or bubbling right in the middle of your belly? You'll be able to see if that happens. It'll be kind of poppy. We want to keep it quite flat as best as you can. Now you're scooping through the belly here. We're going to start to add some more challenge. Inhale in. Let's press our palms to the floor. As you breathe out, keep scooping. Can you roll up to your toes? Inhale to let your heels find the floor. Exhale, keep scooping. Roll up to your toes. Let's make your toes nice and light. Inhale to roll the feet down. Exhale to roll it up. Inhale, feet find the floor. Exhale. Heels hover. Now what I want you to notice, keep going here, is that as you lift your heels, do you lose your low back? Can you keep scooping? Let's make those feet nice and light. One more time, breathe in. As you breathe out, roll up to your toes. Now maybe you're already feeling like it requires a lot of work to stay stable, and it does. So if this feels optimal, stay here. Or you can breathe in. As you breathe out, keep scooping, lift one leg. Keep scooping, breathe in. Exhale, lift your second leg up off the floor. I'm gonna start shaking and see how you feel. Now, can we make sure right out of the gate there's no space away from the floor unless you have disc issues and need that space? For most of us, that scooping, whew, there we go, is gonna be really, really where we wanna be. And as you scoop, we're hollowing. Now, there's lots happening here, not just holding those legs up. Firstly, really tempting to pull the knees close to the chest. Can we stack those knees right over the hips, which requires more low abs to scoop, 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 scoop. I'm shaking. Let's take those feet. Let's flex our feet. And imagine I'm at your feet and you're trying to push me away and I'm resisting you. So there's energy here. Next, let's take our hands. Can you take your hands to the insides of your thighs, please? And feel like you're trying to separate your legs, but, don't, but again, resist, right? Don't let them separate. So we have our belly scooped. We have our legs energized forward and in. We have our legs energized abducted and adducted. So don't let them touch, but let them squeeze. Can you reach your arms maybe up to the ceiling? Maybe bend your elbows to the floor. And we're going to hold here, breathe in. Hold here, breathe out. Scoop, energize those legs. We're going to move through our feet. Breathe it in. As you exhale, that right heel starts to lower just halfway to the floor. Pause. Check your scoop, breathe in. Exhale, scoop deeper to pull that leg up. 
inhale center as you exhale even though the leg drifts away can you draw back on that low belly just a little bit more stay halfway breathe in exhale scoop and pull that leg back up inhale stay exhale scoop the belly draw the ribs in wide in the belly button as the leg lowers i'm shaking breathe in Exhale, pull that leg back up. Inhale to stay. Exhale, scoop the belly, draw it in. Left heel lowers just halfway. Energize those legs, breathe it in. Exhale, scoop the belly more, pull it in. We have three more each side. Arms are anchored, inhale. As you exhale, now maybe your arms are up to the ceiling. Can you squeeze your hands in fist, squeeze your arms, breathe in. Exhale, scoop your belly, pull that right leg in. Left side, inhale. Exhale, ribs draw down, belly scoops, lower that left heel halfway to the floor. Breathe it in, squeeze nice and tight. Exhale from the low abs, pull the left leg in. Two more, breathe in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth, resist with the belly. Keep that low back, scoops to the floor. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. That shake was for realsies. Inhale, left leg, scoop through that low belly. Hollow, 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 breathe in. Exhale, energized leg, scooped belly, tight fist. One more, inhale. As we exhale, lower the leg. Now it's not even about the leg, right? It's about that low back. Keep scooping, breathe in. Exhale, pull that leg like fire back to center. One more time, inhale. Exhale, scoop and draw that left heel down. You got it, inhale it in. Exhale to pull that leg up. Gorgeous, your hands can be down, they can be bent, they can be reaching. Can you keep the legs separate? Breathe in through the nose. As you breathe out, scoop the belly, maybe start to lower those heels just a quarter. Inhale together, exhale, pull them up for five. Inhale, exhale, scoop the belly, draw those legs down just a quarter, stay there, breathe in. Exhale, pull them back in for four. Your hands could also be down. Inhale, exhale, resisting with the belly, maybe the legs barely move, breathe in, keep scooping, pull them back up. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, scoop the belly, draw them down a quarter, inhale here. Exhale, pull those legs up, bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a little rock side to side. <sighs> that was a lot of work, right? <laughs> So that's our foundation. We wanna make sure we feel that happening all the time. We're gonna take our legs back down to the floor. We're gonna add a little bit of upper body to this. Can you take your legs, please, feet together. Thighs are gonna open up here. And if you would like blocks or books or anything underneath, feel free. But if your legs are happy here, let them stay here. I'm gonna slide my cushions away because I'm gonna take my hands interlace my fingers and slide my thumbs right at the occipital ridge. There's a little crest at the base of your skull and that's where I like to let my hands support myself. Before you curl up, can you notice if your low back and chest are really popping away from the floor? Can we take that breath in? And as we breathe out, you're gonna draw the ribs in, lift the elbows up just to your peripheral vision. Now maybe they close a little bit more, but they're definitely not wider than, yeah? We want the head heavy. Start to energize into that low belly, inhale through the nose. As you breathe out, you nod your chin, you curl up, you look over the horizon of your legs. Now just stay here for a sec, give your head a little shake, and really feel like that curl has come from your ribs, not your neck. Inhale to lengthen back in space, keep drawing the ribs down. As you exhale, blow out that candle, curl up over the horizon of your legs. Inhale to lengthen back, it's already happening. Now as you exhale, think a little bit about that inner scoop so that you don't let your whole low back be released. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, curling up from the ribs. Inhale back. Now really fun piece of information here as you're working. If your thighs fold, keep going. If your hips are moving, then it'll tell you that your other muscles are working here. Your hip flexors are maybe working a little bit more than they should be so that you're not getting as much out of your abs. So as you're curling, be really purposeful and look and make sure that you don't have anything extra happening here, right? Exhaling to curl. Now we always want to exhale on the way up because that's the way that our ribs are going. So try not to hold your breath. We're going for three. Are you on fire yet? I'm feeling things, they're happening. Let's go for two. Exhale it up. One more time, inhale. Exhale to crawl. Now you're gonna hold your crawl. If this is feeling fabulous, stay here. If you'd like to fold your legs, you're going to stay there. If you'd like to lift your legs, you're gonna take your exhale, 
to scoop through your low back. Lift your legs up one at a time and find, shake, 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 that lovely spot we were in before. Can we all take our right arms, please? Now, if your legs are up or on the floor, right hand to left thigh. If you're in a diamond, reach that right arm, yeah? So these are our options here. You're gonna keep contact if you're in contact. We're gonna really work through those obliques as we pulse up to the upper left corner of our body. Exhale, up. For nine, for eight, for seven. Now scoop if you're scooping, six. Think about moving from behind the right armpit. For three, for two, I'm shaking. For one, bring the right hand back, reach your left arm up. It either comes to the thigh, if your feet are planted, maybe reaching. I'm gonna do this option for my second side. Here we go, let's pulse for 10, for nine. Breathe it out. Head is totally supported by the right hand for three, for two, last one, wherever you are, find center. Your feet could be open, they could be planted, they could be lifted, little pulses up here. For 10, for nine, for eight, for seven. I'm showing all the options for you so you know that no matter what, they're all fantastic. For three, for two, last one, hold wherever you are. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, take a break. <sighs> That was really fun, right? Let's take an inhale in through the nose and exhale out through our mouths. Let's do that one more time. Maybe bring your knees into your chest. Maybe give yourself a little rock side to side. That was really fabulous, team. Really, really, really well done. If you'd like to add a little twist here, you totally can. And then I'm just gonna ask you to roll over. Coming up onto hands and knees, we're gonna give that spine a little bit more mobility. So. Hands and knees are totally objective. You could stay kneeling and do a little bit of a cat-cow this way. You could be on fists instead of hands, or you can have your hands completely down. Just giving the spine a second to, to lengthen from all that hard work. Toes can be tucked or untucked. As you inhale, can you lengthen from tail, lengthen through the belly, and just peek forward. Yeah, we're not like dumping our low backs, we're lengthening. And then start from that pubic bone, find that scoop again as you round, push the floor away and allow that back to curve. As you inhale, lengthen from the tail, lengthening it out, right? Notice I'm saying lengthen, 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 not just drop, because I want you to feel like you're being pulled, like kind of like a piece of chewing gum. And then exhale to scoop or an elastic band, right? When you pull it, there's still tension there. At the top here, you can even squeeze your bum a little bit. It'll give you just a bit of extra support. Let's do two more in your own time. Inhaling to lengthen it out. Exhale through the mouth, round, push the floor away. Enjoy that bit of a stretch. One more time, inhale to lengthen. And exhale it up. If it feels good to stay rounded, you can just take yourself back into a bit of a child's pose for a second. Inhaling in through your nose. Exhale it out through your mouth. Let's gently bring ourselves all the way back up. So I would love, we're gonna be coming up to kneeling. I know for me that my knees need a little bit of support, so I'm gonna pop that cushion down. And I'm going to grab one of my kitchen towels. Now we are gonna be doing some kneeling work. If your knees don't love kneeling and hinging the way that I'm gonna offer us, don't worry, I have more options for you. Um, and then the towel isn't totally necessary, but it is a nice prop to have. So if you ha can have it in a rectangular shape to start, and then you're just gonna roll it up. You're gonna make like a little bit of a towel sausage. If you are listening to music, this will be a great time to crank that music up. Get some beats going, because this is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing with my shoulders. Whoosh, whiz, whizzle around. So really, really important that even though we're not on our backs anymore, we're still keeping an essence of what we just created, right? We still want our abs to support us. That's the whole point of Pilates, right? It brings us through life. So knowing that it's tempting to kind of stick out, it's tempting to curl under, can we stack right upright, having our ears, shoulders, hips, and knees right on top of each other? I'm gonna take the towel, reach it forward, and as I inhale, I'm keeping my arms straight. I'm just really, really reaching. This is called protraction. And then keeping my elbows straight again, I'm using my shoulder blades to squeeze onto my back for retraction. 
Inhale to reach it forward. And exhale to draw it back. Just the arms. Inhale like you're trying to like fly through the sky. And then thinking about the tips of my shoulder blades hugging in towards each other. Inhale to reach forward. Exhale to hug it in. Keep going. Now tempting to kind of add like a bit of a head bob to this. Can we really keep our head nice and energized? I like to imagine like there's something behind my head that I'm ever so gently connecting into. One more time, inhale forward, exhale back. We're gonna take this into a circle. So I'm thinking about moving from behind myself. I'm drawing the shoulder blades back. I'm lowering them to the floor. I'm scooping them down and forward. I arrive in that protraction and then they lift themselves back up, slide all the way back down my back. They scoop and draw forward. They reach, 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 reach. They draw up towards my earlobes and then down around my back. This doesn't look like a lot, but if you can try to find the extremes of that mobility through your shoulder girdle, through your shoulder blade, it's gonna be amazing for you. The next time those arms, or sorry, those shoulder blades draw back, let's take them up towards your ears without squishing through your neck. Let's reach them up and forward. They circle down towards the floor. They draw back up behind you. Lift up to your ears, forward and then down. Whew, let's do two more. Draw it in and up. Doesn't hurt on the arms either to have to hold themselves up in space. One more time. Up towards your earlobes forward and then down. Okay, reach those arms back forward. Can you feel like you're pulling the towel apart? I'm gonna swivel towards you again. This is where it gets extra exciting and spicy, right? Keeping your belly on, reach those arms forward, reach them away from each other. We're gonna go down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. My shoulders are all ready, burning, down and up and down and up. And as I do this, you keep going. I'm going to show you some things. As we do this, we want to try to keep this top part of our shoulder really, really nice and gentle. So we're not squeezing and moving from a high tension place. We're actually trying to settle and feel like the work is coming from underneath us. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Really nice and calm. This is that part where I will never tell you to smile, but it might make it feel better if you're like, okay, this isn't so bad. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up, let's go for a 10. For a nine, it's getting spicy. For eight, you can do it. Seven, I'm right here with you. Six, I'm smiling. Four, because I'm on fire. Three, belly strong. Two, last one, keep the arms up. You pull in, push out, pull it in. And every time you pull, can you squeeze those shoulder blades in towards each other? Good. Find where you want to breathe. And the whole time as you're working with this towel, you're trying to pull it apart. My belly is still really nice and stable here. Yeah, I'm not collapsed. I'm drawing in and push. And can you find the extremes, right? You are the only person here asking your body to work. So really see if you can find a full range here. Five more for five. <sighs> for four, we're getting shoulders, for three, it's all good, for two, last one, you're gonna go all the way down, down, and then up and forward, down, and then up and forward. Can you lengthen out through those pointer fingers, right, through these guys, so we don't want our towels to be slack, we wanna draw them in. Now as you lift your arms up, it's gonna be really tempting to pop out through those ribs. Can you keep drawing the ribs down as you lift up, we're going for eight. Oh, it's exciting. Seven, glutes are on. Six, belly is stable. Five, so close. Four, Whoo. three, are you singing? Do you have some good music on? Two, I hope you do. Last one, lift it up. You're going to pull it into your chest and then push in and push. So now instead of forward, we're on an upward diagonal. In. And every time you pull that towel in, you are squeezing your shoulder blades together, reaching those arms forward, trying to pull this towel in half with your super strong arms for eight, for seven. I'm hoping it's spicy for you. Six, it's spicy for me. For five, we've got this. For four, we're in it together. For three, squeeze the shoulder blades. Two, you can do it. Last one, reach it up and hold. Really tiny, little pulse out for eight. Little pulse, seven. Little pulse wide, six. So you release and then a little pull. 
tiny pull, four, just to add a little extra tension, three, you got it here for two, last one, bring it down. <sighs> kind of feel like Madonna when I do that, like she's got really great arms, right? So hoo -hoo. shoulders, tops of into our delts look amazing. This is super fun. <laughs> this is spicy. I'm like losing my words because I'm on, feel like I'm on fire. I'm going to turn around so you can see me sideways. Grab some water if you need it. We're going to add some things together here. So keeping a hold of that towel, if you're using it, again, you totally don't have to. You could also use like very, very light hand weights if you have them anywhere from, I wouldn't go higher than five pounds to be honest, like even two is kind of a lot by the end of this. And so we're going to be back up in that kneeling position. Now this time, I am going to ask you to really think about tucking your bum underneath you, squeezing, pardon me, into your glutes, and drawing those ribs in. So we want to have this really gorgeous contained space. Grab a hold of your towel. Reach it forward. Now toes can be tucked or untucked. I like untucked for this. It feels a little nicer on my joints, but be where you need to be. Okay, we're here. Shoulders on our backs, ribs are drawing in. We have that tuck of the bum. Now option one is gonna be that you hinge. Now when you hinge, you're gonna feel quads. I want you to feel glutes. I want us to be careful that we're not hinging up from the upper body. It's actually like I'm doing an ab curl, so the work is in my legs. Now if that doesn't feel great for you, you're welcome to find a spot at your wall next to maybe your plants. <laughs> and you're gonna slide down. And you're gonna join us in that way, yeah? Up and down the wall. So find something that works for you. Those walls are freshly painted as well. Had a moment where I thought I might leave with some paint on my bum. <laughs> okay, arms are forward. So if you're at the wall, you're at the ready, we're looking to feel ribs drawing in. If you're kneeling, scooping that bum underneath you, Together, let's take an inhale. As we exhale, lead from the legs. If you're on the wall, you slide down. If you're hinging, you hinge. Stay here, breathe in. Now from your bum, squeeze your bum, pull yourself back up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, again, scoop through your bum, draw your ribs in, hinge it back. Inhale to be here. Squeeze your bum, pull yourself back up. Inhale. As you exhale, Scoop, tuck and squeeze. Test yourself, can you hold it a little second and then squeeze your bum, pull yourself back up. We have three more, inhale. As you exhale, take your time. Keep the components ready, reach those arms, breathe in. Squeezing the glutes, pull yourself back up. Two more, inhale. I'm right here with you. Draw the ribs down, lead with that pubic bone. Inhale, pull on your towel as you exhale, pull yourself up. One more time, take your breath in. As you breathe out, we hold here for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, think tall, five, think long, for four, squeeze your bum, for three, you can do it, for two, last one, bring it up. Take a little break. Give your legs a little rock and roll. Give your back a little rock and roll. Quick little break and then we dive right back up into that. So we're looking to feel quads for sure here. I would love for us to feel bum as well. So using your glutes, really get them nice and taut so that they can be your support to bring you back up. It'll relieve your quads a little bit and it's fantastic work for our glutes and hamstrings to bring us up in that support. It feels a little bit like you're doing an ab curl and that actually keeps us level as opposed to open. So there's still abs happening here too. Now, second round, we're gonna add a little bit of extra fun stuff to this, if you'd like to, it's always just an option. So if you're at the wall, heading back to the wall, if you're kneeling, getting ourselves back up. If you have a ball at home, you're welcome to stick a ball between your thighs here just for a little bit of support through the inner thighs and knees. If you'd like to add some layers underneath your knees to keep you extra cushioned, please feel free. Okay, here we are. Arms are out. Let's think about our posture. <sighs> Ribs are in. We're using our abs first to scoop and then our glutes to squeeze, keeping our shoulder blades on our backs. Take your breath in here. As you breathe out, we hinge it back. Enjoy that for a moment, breathe in. Use your glutes, hamstrings, pull yourself back up. We're going to six, inhale. 
As we exhale, this is our second one. Can you maybe take it a tiny bit further? Breathe it in. Breathe out, squeeze your bum, pull yourself back up. That's two, inhale. Exhale, reach through those arms. Are you still singing to your playlist? I hope you are. This is three. So use your glutes. Yes, we're halfway. Breathe in. Pull on that towel. Use it as some opposing energy here, like you're still reaching to where you're eventually going to go to. We have two more. Inhale. Exhale. And that breath is important. We don't want to hold our breath when times get tough. Breathe in. Use your breath to bring you up. Inhale here, exhale to take it back, breathe in. Now I'm going to be honest, I stopped counting. Let's do one more for luck, breathe in. We're going to take it into your hinge now, hold. No matter where you are, at the wall or leaning out, can you inhale? Can you take your left hand, lead the way as you twist your upper body to the left? Stay there, breathe in. And then pull yourself back to center. Keep your hips square, breathe in. Right hand leads the way to the right, breathe it in. You got this. Pull yourself back, one more each side. Squeeze your bum, twist to the left. Stay there, breathe in. Use your obliques, pull yourself back to center. One more time, open out to the right. Keep squeezing your bum, breathe in. Bring yourself back to center, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it up. <sighs> now is a great time to get some water if you didn't have any already. <laughs> Give your legs a little rub. If you need to take a child's pose, please feel free. Inhaling it in. Exhale it out. Let's bring ourselves back up onto hands and knees. So again, if being on your wrist doesn't feel fabulous, you can come on to fists. That's totally fine. For this guy, you could also come on to forearms if you wanted to. And if you had the opportunity to put something underneath your forearms to lift you up, blocks are great for this or pillows, anything that's going to give you a bit of a boost, please feel free. Let's work the opposing part of this leg. So keeping yourself really nice and centered. Toes can be tucked or untucked. I'm actually going to take this pillow out now because I'm not resting on my knees anymore. Can we feel like our hands are pushing down into the floor, wide away from each other, and then in towards the center of our bodies? This is a theme you're going to hear me say a few times because that is the best way to get our back muscles turned on. Pushing hands down, opening wide, hugging in. Let's start with your left leg. Now, I'm totally guilty of dropping my head. I think it's also a ponytail thing. <laughs> so can we keep our gaze slightly forward so as not to collapse through the neck? Our belly is on, but I'm not tucked. The left leg slides back in space. I'm in a channel right from my kneecap to the smiley part of my bum cheek, and I'm going to exhale to lift that leg up. Now notice I don't collapse through my back. I keep it stable. Inhale just to tap, and then exhale to lift. Inhale down, and exhale it up. Now, if you're looking down, which I hope you are, I'm still here with you. Inhaling to lower the left leg, smiley part of bum cheek to lift. What I want you to be conscientious of is that as you take the left leg up and down, your body's going to compensate by leaning to the right. So can you think about leaning into that left hip empty space a little bit for me, please? Exhale, lift. Now the belly is still totally on here. And those hands are pushing into the floor, opening wide, hugging down towards the knees. So there's lots of stability. Inhale, down. Exhale to lift. Now really use your brain here. Use your mind-body connection to lift that left leg by squeezing into your bum. So it becomes a really more connected activity. Lift. We're going for four. Lift it up. We're going for three. Little tap. Squeeze to lift. We're going for two. My leg is shaking. One more time. Lift up and hold. You're going to point through your toes. You're going to draw little circles, please, for eight. For seven, now keep the circle small so that nothing in the upper body moves. For three, for two, for one, let's go the other way. For eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, bring it in. Switching sides right away. Push the hands through the floor, open them wide, hug them in. That right leg extends back in space. 
reaching through the crown of the head, zipping into your belly. When you're ready, squeeze your bum, that right leg floats it up. Inhale, ooh, I'm just gonna shimmy a little bit. Inhale to lower, and then exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. Now as you lift that right leg, be careful the body doesn't start to compromise, right? We wanna keep our foundation, pushing our hands through the floor, opening them wide, hugging them in, drawing your navel in, lengthening long from head to tail. Inhale, tap the right leg, exhale to lift. Now same rules, right? So nothing else is moving, just the leg. And we wanna think about firing from right at that smiley part of the bum cheek. Lift, let's go for three. Leaning into that right empty space for two so that we don't tip over to the left. Last one, hold. Point that right toe, little circles for eight, for seven, for six, for five. Lots of upper body here. Four, to support you. Three, two, one. Take that circle the other way for eight, for seven, for six. Can you see my leg shaking? For four, I can feel it. Three, two, one. One, bring it in, nice job. I'm gonna sit myself back into a child's pose. You're welcome to join me. Breathing in, breathing out. When you're ready, bringing yourself all the way back up. If you were using head cushions, I recommend grabbing a hold of them. We're gonna lie down on our right side, moving into some side glute work. So I like to bring these pillows with me because they're just gonna help support my head. Lying down on my right side, my right hand just sort of tucks in with them, however feels comfortable for you. Now, if you could please take your top hand into your top hip and just let it rest there. We're bending our knees. I would like for your knees to be pretty much forward. I mean, we're not taking a full 90, but your kneecaps are pointing forward and your heels are hugged back. Top hand into your top hip. Now, if we were just hanging out on the couch, likely there's not a lot of activity here. So can we exhale, draw into that bottom waist, lengthen through the top hip, and let's keep our hand there. It's gonna give us some feedback as to if this changes. Now you can squeeze your heels or your toes together, I don't mind, but keep contact. And as you exhale, open that top thigh. Freeze for a second, look at your pelvis for me, and feel like you're sticking your bum out, but that your hip is still stacked right on top. Inhale to lower with resistance, and then exhale to open it up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhaling it down. So if you can imagine, like you were doing a side plank right now, you would want to make sure that the bottom waist stays quite active, that you're breathing and you're not gripping in your head, neck, shoulders. So we wanna keep all of those principles here as well, lifting it up. Now, if this is feeling fabulous, your hips are stable, you're feeling bum, if you don't feel bum, stick it out a little more behind you. You're welcome to up the spice factor by lifting your shins and ankles. Keep heels or toes squeezing and then continue with opening that top leg. It ups the ante just a little bit. We're going for eight more here, please. That's eight. Inhale to lower. Now dig those heels in. Let's go for seven. Keep that bottom waist anchored. Bum goes out for six. Six. Now the bottom heel is pushing up as your top heel is pushing down. Five. So there's lots of energy here. Let's go for four. Keeping that waist nice and anchored for three. You can do it here, team. Let's go for two. One more. You can do it. Lift and hold. Now keep the top leg. Lower the bottom leg down. Top leg goes up and around and rotates internally so the knees head towards each other. Then lift it back up and around and tap so that the heels tap towards each other. So you're making like a big loop, a big rainbow shape. But the rule here or the trick here is that as your leg is moving, your hips do not. They have to stay stacked. And you'll notice as you start to feel that, that there's like a lovely ding, ding, ding. Mine's going ding, 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 ding in your bum. And that's what we wanna feel, those muscles working. We have two more taps in each direction after this last heel, up and around, umbrella shape or rainbow shape to knees, umbrella shape to heels, one more each side, umbrella down to knees, umbrella up to heels. Can we find parallel? Point your toes or flex, but squeeze your heel in. Keep sticking your bum out. Let's pulse that thigh up for 10, 
for nine, belly stable, eight, ribs are in, seven, breath is on, six, it's spicy, five, you can do it, four, I'm here with you, three, two, can you hold it up, ten, nine, eight, squeeze, seven, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, Ooh, that was a bit fiery, right, do you feel fire, I feel fire, <laughs> before we flip to our second side, I'd love for us to come up onto our forearms, now here, legs are staying in the same kind of arrangement. You might need to switch them a little bit, that's up to you. But what's non-negotiable is that this arm is down. So your right arm is down. Palm can be flat or in a fist, I don't mind. Can we take our left hand and pop it underneath our left, our right rib, sorry? And again, if you were just hanging out on the couch, not a lot happening here. So if we start to consider scooping those ribs up and in a little bit more, I'd also love for you to keep your hand there and hug your forearm in, hug it down towards you. And I hope you feel some muscles sort of kick in there. If you're not sure, do it a few times until you feel that recruitment. What I wanna make sure is that we stay out of our neck and right up into our upper trapezius. I want us to be underneath us, more serratus. Your top hand can come into the floor, onto your hip, up to the ceiling, I don't mind. Take your breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift those hips up, keep squeezing the forearm under. We have five, inhale to lower, tap. Exhale to lift up, four, inhale. Now you can look to the floor, exhale, look up, three. You can look forward, lift up for two. You can look up to the ceiling, last one, lift up and hold. Can you keep your stability? Maybe stay where you are, maybe reach a leg, or maybe you reach all the way up into your side plank for 10, nine, squeeze your bum, eight, hug the arm in, seven, reach up for six, look wherever you need to, five, feel like you're almost making like a side rainbow for three, for two, for one, bring it down. Ooh, spice so rama such good stuff. Excellent news, we still have a whole other side to do. Grab some water if you need it, and then let's flip over. I'll meet you on our left side here. So lying on down. Again, I have these pillows with me. It just helps support the neck. We wanna keep the tension out of places that we're not looking to work and really into the places that we are. Bending in those knees so that my kneecaps are facing forward. My tailbone is reaching back towards my lovely plants. Top hand into my top hip. Whew, taking a breath. Here we go, it's all happening again, but at least we know what to expect on this side, right? Well, I always knew, but now you know. Digging your heels, maybe your toes, take your inhale. Before you move your leg as you exhale, draw into that side waist, connect into that low belly, feel how much power you have in your center. Once you're centered, inhale, and as you breathe out, keep the heels or toes squeezing and open the top thigh. Quick little peek just to make sure that nothing rolled back, that it's still level. Inhale to lower down, and then exhale to lift it up. Inhale. Now, as we lift, we know that we feel things under tension, right? Like that's, we know for sure that that's something we want to be experiencing. However, it would be very easy on the descent of this leg to just let that thigh collapse. And I would like you to not do that. I would like you to be so excited about all the work you're doing that you add in that eccentric control on the way down. So we don't flop, we resist. Inhaling and exhaling. Wherever you're breathing here, I like the exhale on the way up. Just make sure you're not holding your breath, right? We wanna keep it moving. Now, if everything is going well, we feel the side waist, the hip is stable, the bum is definitely feeling things happening, maybe take your ankles and shins and float them up. It ups the spice factor -wee, in a really gorgeous way. So know that you have options. Now, if your bottom leg is floated, we wanna make sure that bottom heel is pushing up as your top heel pushes down. My leg is shaking. We've got three more here, please. Let's go for three. Inhaling down. We got it for two. So exciting, so fiery. Last one, lift it up. Now keep the top leg, drop the bottom. We add in our little umbrella rainbow, tap to the knee. Lift up and around. 
Hooey, tap to the heel. I'm not being dramatic. This is actually what's happening in my body right now. I am feeling all the things right along with you. Now, the more you do that up and around and down, like let's really be dramatic about it. Let's be really indulgent with that shape. And that's gonna add some extra fun business here. I'm shaking. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm with my legs. Tap down, reach up and around to the heel, up and around to the knee up and around to the heel. Let's do two more taps each direction. Down, keeping that hip stable, knowing that this is only temporary. We have one more in each direction. You can totally do one more. Gorgeous work, lift up to parallel, hold. Squeeze the heel in, stick your bum out, waist is on, little pulses up please for 10, for nine. You've got this, eight, seven. My eyebrows, six, are climbing up my forehead. I can feel it for three, for two, can you hold it here? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it go. Whew. Okay. Part one, check, check. Part two, bring it on up to your forearm. Slide those cushions out of the way if you were using them. Popping onto your forearm. Again, you can be fist or you can be hand. I really don't mind. Finding that seam shape with your legs, seam shape with your bum, and that lifting of the waist. So top hand flops or connects into that bottom rib. Take a second to feel what it would feel like if you were just hanging out on the beach. And then take the ribs and scoop them up. That bottom forearm is hugging in and towards us, really super energized. And maybe you can even feel those muscles turn on under your rib cage. Now I have some stuff happening through my neck, so that's why I love to give you options. Looking down feels nicest for me, but forward or up might feel best for you. Top hand comes up to the ceiling, the hip or the floor. Take your inhale from the waist and the glutes. Lift yourself back up. <sighs> inhale, lower to tap. As soon as you tap, lift it up. <sighs> Now we're trying to stay out of the top of the shoulder and fire into the muscles underneath the side of our body. Let's go for two. Exhale to lift. One more time. Lift it up. Hold. You can stay here. Reach a leg or find that full side plank expression. We're holding for ten. For nine. We're trying to find almost like a big rainbow shape here. Six. Five. Four, looking where you need three squeeze the glutes for two last one bring it down I'm gonna flip back onto my back bring my knees into my chest let's take a quick second here just to stretch out through those glutes bring the heart rate back down mine got up there I wonder let me know how does yours feel feeling good feeling good I have the pillows back underneath my neck because again it just gives me some more support and let's take that right leg, maybe give your ankle a little roll, check in with your pelvis, can we make sure it remains as square as possible? And then take that right ankle over your left knee and just give yourself a little rock. You don't even need to pull the leg in. We're not looking for a huge stretch here, just a little release. Now we're so close to being done our time together. So I always like to pick it up in the last sort of 10 to seven minutes to like really, really, really give us a little bit more excitement. Take that leg, just give it a little jiggle, put it back down, and then let's switch sides. So your left leg goes up, maybe give it a little shaky shake, give your ankle a little roll. I have like a hamstring, ah, feels so good. And then open it up, little rock side to side. You know, it's really cool that we can do so much with just our body weights, just household props. It's of course so exciting and such a privilege to have equipment to use, but there's something really cool about knowing that your body is doing all of this work. I think so anyway. I hope you do too. Giving those legs one last little shaky shake. And then let's roll ourselves over and bring ourselves up. So we're going to come back onto hands and knees. I'm going to scoot my props out of the way for now. But if you would like something under your knees, you totally can. I'm gonna to try to make this a bit of a surprise for us. So you're gonna set yourself up hands and knees again. And once you're there, you're gonna feel like you're pushing the floor away, opening it wide and pulling it down. But instead of your hands being perfectly 
like neutral, I would like you to open them just a little bit wider than shoulders and rotate them in just a smidgen, not a ton, just a little so that our elbows have somewhere a little more organic to go, not just right in beside our waists. Once you've set that up, walk your knees back a little bit so you're in a kneeling plank. Now my bum is on, my belly is on, I'm pushing the floor away, pulling my hands away and hugging them in. Now if you have wrists that don't love this, anyone who's here who feels good, stay here. If you feel like that's maybe not the best option for you, find a wall. Come up to the wall and lift up onto a high half toe and find your same shape here. It's just as fabulous. It's going to work just as well through the upper body, but not as much stress on the wrists, which is nice. I'm going to come back down to the mat. So setting yourselves up. Glutes are on. Belly is on. We're fired up. This is going to be so fun. Three counts to slowly bend your elbows, please. Lower down for three. Lower down for two. Lower down for one. Halfway. Hold it here. Strong push up. Down for three. Down for two. Down for one. Hold. Push. Down for three. Now I'm only going three quarters of the way. I hold. I push. Down for three. And when I'm pushing, two, I'm pushing from behind my armpits. Remember, the hands are pushing down into the floor, opening wide, and then hugging in and down to your belly. For two, for one, we have two more here, please. For three, for two, for one, strong push. One more time, three, two, one. Can you push it up? Can you three, two, one, find a plank? You can be forearms and knees, hands and knees, in your full expression. I'm totally timing us for realsies. 30 seconds here. Now, wherever you are, you're long in your body. <sighs> that belly is drawing in. You're long from head to tail. Glutes are on here, please, to really make sure we're supporting the body. You are halfway done this plank. You have a little bit less than halfway to go. You have for 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5. I am shaking for 3, for 2. Last one, bring it up. Whew. If you feel like a shell stretch would be nice here, please take it. And we know that that's not the last time we're doing that. So bringing yourself back up. This time, instead of your hands rotated in a little bit, can you walk them wider? So they're going to go maybe even just to the edges of your mat. Enough space so that your elbows can go wide away from each other not in an angle and not down into your ribs. <sighs> Maybe grab some water too. <laughs> It'd be a great time for that as we head into our grand finale. So opening those arms out when you're ready, let's meet here. Same options. You could be in that kneeling plank, you could be at the wall, but wherever you are, push your hands down, open them wide, hug them in to turn on all those gorgeous muscles of the upper body that support us here. You're only going three quarters of the way together. Let's go down for three, for two, for one. Hold it strong, push down for three. Squeeze your bum, two, one, strong push. Open the elbows wide as the hands push the floor away. Open the elbows wide as the hands pull down to you, three, two, one, push, two more, three, two, one, hold, push, one more time, three, two, one, hold, push, find your plank, hold it here, 30 seconds, you've got it, I'm actually counting, I know it's a total joke that Pilates instructors don't count properly, and sometimes we don't, but I'm totally doing it for you, I am shaking, we've got this long from head to tail you could be on your knees you could be on your hands you could be on your forearms you could be totally taking a break right now you don't even need to be planking you've got this for five for four for three for two for one bring it down take a shell stretch Whew. if it feels good take your right hand thread your right hand through to give yourself a gentle twist. Now I have one final piece of ab work for you, well, and upper body, that I think hopefully will be pretty fun. But if you feel like you're done, please don't feel like you have to join in if you don't want to. But my hope is, is that it can be challenging and playful. 
pull your right arm back in. Take your twist on the other side. Now, of course, you could be on your back, twisting your legs one side to the other. You definitely don't have to be belly down if that doesn't feel good. Breathing here. <sighs> then bringing ourselves all the way up. So if you are on a hard floor like I am, you're gonna grab your second towel or any towel that you had because we're gonna be sliding our feet. If you are on carpet or on a floor where sliding isn't an option, no worries, you're doing the same thing, but you'll just be tapping instead of sliding, yeah? So because I'm filming for you, I, I'm just gonna fold my mat up, but you can of course step off of your mat, whatever is easiest. This is just easiest for me right now. So folding that mat up so I have more floor space behind me to work with. And then I'm gonna grab my other towel, the one that I didn't have my hands on, although it really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna lay it out. So I'm gonna start us off by showing the slidey option and then I'll switch into tapping and you can pick where you wanna be, right? But just know, keep going with what feels good. Grand finale here, friends. We are like so close to the end. Might as well finish strong and with a little bit of something fun and playful, yeah? So you could totally be on your forearms here or your hands. I'm gonna go on to hands. Forearms is a fabulous option. Let's all start with our toes tucked if you're sliding on your sliding thing. <laughs> and let's do a round of cat cow. So you're just gonna inhale to lengthen. Exhale to scoop. One more time. Inhale to lengthen out. Exhale to scoop. And then lengthen out one vertebrae at a time into one long line. We're gonna start with knee hovers, so breathe it in. As you breathe out, hands push down, open wide, hug in as you lift your knees just an inch. Inhale down, lift up just an inch. One more time, inhale up, exhale to lift. Now from here, inhale to slide out, exhale, pull those legs in for five. Inhale to push away, exhale. Now keep your heels reaching back as you pull the legs in. Keep going if you're sliding, if you're tapping, you can pull those legs in. Inhale to walk it out. Good, exhale to pull it in. One more, inhale. Exhale, can we meet with those legs out? If you are a slidey person, squeeze your feet together, twist your hips to the right, pull your knees in to the left. Inhale, same side. Right knee to left elbow if you're tapping. Good, let's go for two. Inhale to push, one more time. Pull it in, reach it back through center, twist left hip down, pull into right elbow. Inhale back for four. Inhale, reach, you can do it. For three, push the floor away. We have two more, two if you're tapping, you're tapping left knee to right elbow. Last one, hold your plank. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take a break. Whew. Set your bum back to your heels. If that doesn't feel good, we're meeting on our backs in a second, so don't worry, we're getting there. Give your heart a second to Come back down. <sighs> I'm gonna roll my mat back out. If you folded yours, you're welcome to join me. Or you head right into lying on your back. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. Taking some nice, big, deep breaths in through the nose. Exhale it out through your mouth. Your breath now, a breath of ease, Maybe not quite tranquility, but definitely, definitely feeling proud of ourselves for, for taking time out of our day. Give yourself a little rock side to side with those legs hugged in. And then let's take our legs and let them twist over to the right one more time. Maybe reach your left arm out to the left. Maybe turn your gaze to the left. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Pull those legs back up to center again. Give yourself a little rock. And then legs over to the left, arm out to the right. Breathing in here. 
and breathing out. Letting our breath, again, sort of collect anything that feels maybe still like it's holding on to tension or discomfort. And bring yourself back into center. Can you pull yourself into a tight, tight ball? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then exhale, <sighs> soften out on the mat. You're welcome to close your eyes and just let your body soften and relax where you are. Letting your breath be just so delicious in our bodies. Knowing that even though some of this work felt maybe a bit challenging, maybe not always challenging, but definitely just moving our bodies has a ripple effect that is so positive. And you did that for yourself, nobody else but you. If you're still lying on your mat, you can keep your eyes closed. Inhale to reach your arms back behind you, stretch through your legs and reach, 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 reach. And then exhale, let those arms come down, wrap your arms around yourself, give yourself a squeeze. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Again, my name is Dominique. Thank you for doing this hour of Pilates and I hope we can connect again soon. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.